Hey, this is Alex from Final Expense Department. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine. Actually, I was calling to let you know that the rates on final expense have been recently dropped down by a huge margin, and we are just providing you free quotations for that. So, may I ask you how old are you? I'm 79. All right, and do you make your own financial decisions or someone helps you? I make my own. And God forbid, do you have any bad health condition like heart attack, strokes, or cancer? Well, I have syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, herpes, HIV, testicular cancer, genital warts, and I have a reptile dysfunction. All right, all right, sir, you don't have. You don't qualify for this coverage plan. You have many diseases. Yes, I've had a very busy life. All right. All right. You have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes. Hi. Good evening. This is Caroline. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? Doing good for uh, thank you for asking. I'm looking for uh, Robert Riddle. Yes, this is he. All right, so hi, Robert. It's me, Caroline. And uh, this is just only a follow up call to inform you now that you may qualify for some additional Medicare benefits and also the money back that could be added on your social security check each month. It shows here that uh, you have hospital part A and medical part B, right? Yes. Okay, so I'll be asking here some few qualifying questions, and um, you sound so young over the phone. How old are you now? I'm 79. I have to talk loud because my hearing is bad, and it's the only way I can hear myself. Okay, when is your birthday? I was born a poor child, Christmas Day, year of our Lord. 1942, when I was born, the Battle of Stalingrad was still raging in Russia, and it was Franklin Roosevelt's third term in office. I don't need the details. I need the exact month, day, and year, sir. I'm the customer, and the customer is always right. If I want to tell my life story, I'll tell my life story. So it's December 25, 1942. Okay, be careful with that. It's 1225 of 1942. Got it here. Yes, and you, I think you really need to learn how to deal with us senior citizens. You whippersnappers are so impatient. Someday you're going to be our age, and then you'll understand. Okay, sir. And uh, could you please help me with your date of birth? December 25, 1942. And also, could you please help me with your mailing address? It's 4550 Calhoun Street, Unit 13, Dearborn, Michigan, 48126. Okay, it's 4550 in Wallet, is that right? 4550 Calhoun Street, Unit 13, Dearborn, Michigan, 48126. Uh, is it in Deadborn? I mean Dearborn? Yes, yes it's in Dearborn. Okay, so you're living at the, um... Okay, it's 4550 Calhoun Street, Unit 13, Dearborn, Michigan, 48126, right? Yes! Okay, so I'll be needing your Part A and B start dates, which can be found on your Medicare card. Can you grab it for me? I'm willing to stay on the line for you. Yes, the card is upstairs. It'll take a few moments to get there. You move a bit slow when you're 79. I'm not a young whippersnapper uh -huh. anymore. Okay, take your time. <laughs> Blah! Blah! 
Excuse me, that happens every time I mix beer and wine. Just another set of stairs. Let me dig in the drawer. Okay, so it says my expiration date is 01-01-2007. How about the part B? Zero one, zero one, two thousand seven. And how about the ID number under your name? It says one, E as in Echo, G as in Golf, four, T as in Tango, E as in Echo, five, M as in Mike, K as Hold in Key. You're providing the exact example of ID number. Yeah, that's my uh, Medicare number. So it's one. Hello? Hello?